Now at 11, the Team 6 investigators in action. When you check into the hospital, how well do you really know who's treating you? Well, tonight, one South Florida family says not knowing the answer to that question changed them forever. It happened at one of the area's most well-known medical facilities, Miami Children's Hospital. The problem, the hospital says it's not responsible for their daughter's strokes because the family can't prove she was treated by any of their medical staff. Team 6 investigator Willard Shepard has the exclusive details. 11 year old Kelly Lopez does the best she can on her computer. Sometimes it's hard for me to do stuff. And I say it with almost tears in my eyes. Uh, she's not the same. She's not the same Kelly that was before the three strokes. Kelly's parents say her brain damage could have been prevented if they were directed to have Kelly undergo corrective blood vessel surgery. The Lopez's told us after careful research, they trusted what they thought was the best. Dr. Trevor Reisnick, director of neurology in Miami Children's Hospital. And the chief, the chief is the top guy. What's going to receive and see my daughter? Children's Hospital is nationally renowned for its neurology and neurosurgery program. The kinds of neurological problems that are prevalent in the community. That Lopez showed us how Resnick is on Miami Children's own website touting the excellent care. The website also indicates Resnick is the chairman of the neurology department at Miami Children's. The address on his medical license is Miami Children's location two. And on the third floor inside the hospital, we found this sign just outside the neurology department. Resnick is the first doctor listed. Title, chief. His email, mch.com. And his name is under the hospital's logo on Resnick's handwritten notes about Kelly. I, I feel betrayed. The family alleges Resnick told them Kelly would be fine. No surgery required, but six months later, the strokes came. Test, the family says, indicates she's performing like an eight-year-old in third grade, not a fifth grader. Resnick settled malpractice legal action against him without admitting any wrongdoing. But now the family is suing the hospital, saying that Miami children should also have to pay for their daughter's future medical needs. In its legal filings, Miami Children's Hospital says the Lopez family hasn't presented any facts whatsoever to indicate that it's been negligent or that it's liable for the actions of Dr. Resnick, any of the other doctors, nurses, or lab personnel who came in contact with Kelly. Don't tell me that he's the best of the, of the hospital. And then at the end, they say, no, he doesn't work for us. Team 6 investigators spoke with independent medical and legal experts who say the hospital's response should be a wake-up call for everyone. The playing field is very different. Before you went into a hospital and you assumed that everybody in the hospital belonged to the hospital, that's not the case anymore. Contract workers are working in hospitals. When we went into the hospital, he has the, uh, the name tag. He, ha he was saying Miami Children's Hospital. The Lopez's say Resnick even had an official ID, but we found that's not confirmation of employment either. Dr. Powell showed us her badges from hospitals where it says staff, but she's not. So it said staff on it here, yes. but you didn't actually work for the hospital. No, no. In fact, most, most hospital facilities will say medical staff. What do you think that would lead your patients to believe? Well, of course, they would think that I work there. Um, I'm fortunate to work with so many talented people who are so passionate about what they do. The Lopez's say they feel duped by Miami Children's promotions. And if I knew that he wasn't working for the hospital, I wouldn't stay there. The Lopez's contend if they would have known what Miami Children's is saying now, Kelly's future would be different. The advice that I can give patients is to ask those questions when they treat with these medical providers. See whether they are actually affiliated with the hospital. Miami Children's would not comment further, and Dr. Resnick's attorney says he resolved his portion of this matter. Both hospitals where Dr. Powell sees patients chose not to comment. The Lopez's say Miami Children's should post clear signs telling patients up front who's treating them. Willard Shepard, NBC6, South Florida.